Hey, this is Time Bomb, and if it's your first time checking out the channel, hit that subscribe button to catch all the updates. Thanks a lot for joining me here today. I'm just going to talk about something probably a lot of people know about. I think it might be something that's, you know, for the less advanced players to pick up on. So sorry if you're aware of this, but I think it's good to put it out there in a video in how to quickly recharge the energy in your player. So I'm sure you've seen it when you come out into the uh, place call screen. You're running back. After one play, he's really tired. But if you have the time, you know, especially in salary cap, but still in unlimited, if you right away just start cycling through your player, your players, just through the through the form, go into the formations and just start cycling through all the plays, switch formations, cycle through them. You know, you want to make sure it's a formation that your player who is tired is in. So if it, he's not in all of them, like sometimes I'll have one substitution in a 3-4 book and he's the guy who's tired and just one of the five, he's only in one sub, so I'll just quickly cycle back between one and two, one and two, rather than going through them all. But if he's in all of those formations, you can just cycle through and get him. You know, you can just really use this technique to help get your guys back from like so far. They can be red basically sometimes and it is possible to really recharge them. And this is the second trick if you don't know about that. If you don't get through all the time and aren't able to fully recharge them in your full time when you're on defense you can use the pause and get an additional 15 seconds and sometimes when you come back from that pause they still are more recharged than when you left them it gives you almost like an additional recharge so you do that Go again, cycle through them after the pause though. They should come back really fast or even and get them. Once you get them to not even full dark blue, if that's not possible, at least the light blue is in a lot better shape. So I use that technique a lot. And don't get me wrong, you gotta be careful still. You don't wanna take hit sticks. You don't want, you can still, there's a chance that you'll fumble when you recharge guys that time in a row, but still it's worth it to have them back because most of the time I do have success off of it. And you're able to break off a bunch of big runs and have your running back recharged for an additional play so i think it's just a good thing to do as much as you can you know just keep getting to the habit of instead of just subbing him out right away just giving it a try seeing if you can you know cycle through the plays and get him recharged maybe and get him back into the game quicker than you might have otherwise by subbing him out or running a play without a minute so that's my tip to you guys if you didn't know it already and even for the advanced players like i said there is a you know something a little something i should have said that at the beginning for the advanced players so they didn't turn it off that there is a little something for them as well that you can recharge your player by pausing it and then coming back and getting kind of an additional 15 seconds in time to you know make that final recharge on your player and get him back into the game and get a big playoff with them so you don't lose your best players for those plays especially with abilities it drains them a lot faster so you have to be using it a lot more to recharge them so thanks a lot for checking out the video i'm time bomb you guys are awesome hit that like hit that subscribe i will catch you guys later boom, boom.